afternoon guys I hope you're all good um, it's George again um, so today we'll be working on a DeFi DTL 129 um, it has a leaking problem uh, but at least we found the problem it was just an O-ring but I'll run through the machine with you um, just so that you can you can troubleshoot it as well we're just gonna replace this O-ring it sits on the pump um, so it was leaking uh, motor from underneath but the initial problem why we had to open the pump and it started leaking was because um, it didn't want to pump out water so usually what happens is that um, there's a lot of stuff that sits here a lot of um, clothing lint that sits here and blocks the pump from spinning um, so but yeah that was the initial problem but after we cleaned the, the, the pump and closed the machine then it started leaking from the bottom um, so yeah uh, we need to realize it was the o-ring um, and then we're just going to replace the outlet as well um, with this one the one that we had um, broke off yesterday as well <laughs> while trying to fix the machine so sometimes it happens that when you fix one part you end up damaging the other and you just have to replace it especially o-rings and tubes and stuff they tend to become fragile over time so yeah let me just give you a shot of what's going on inside of here let me just turn around so yeah so here's our pump the motor uh, this is the cooling side of it and this is the propeller that that pushes water out um and then it gets combined to this section here so it wasn't sealing well anymore that's why it was leaking on that area so we're gonna put in a new o-ring should stop the leaking and then here we have um, a filter that you can open to clean out um the next problem that i'm looking at on this machine is that we're gonna have to replace this hose um after some time because it's, it's already it's already getting old and dirty um so that's one tube that needs to get replaced so yeah i'm just gonna join the the parts together and then um close up the machine and see if we still have a leak on um uh yeah so i'm just gonna run a quick shot on how we we join the the pump and everything together all right here we go so we have this o-ring sits right here make sure that it's sitting correctly and sitting nice that's where it sits and then we got this section that comes on top on top here um, i'm struggling with my camera but here's my assistant, Mr. Cool. Oh, hello. Eh oh. Eh oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's my assistant there, Mr. Cool. So I'm just gonna close up the machine. Let me let me see if I can get a, a perfect shot of of the machine as I close it. Then at least you can have an idea of how to close it as well. I think that's perfect. All right, so we got the O-ring in. Um, one thing that I know is that um, this section goes to the other side and this one is to come out like this. So now you have to make sure that it's sitting correct because so the screws are underneath. So this section needs to sit like this. There are many ways to join it um, so you need to make sure that you join it the correct way. So let's see if this will work. That's wrong. <laughs> this section needs to be at the bottom. Nope, that's still wrong. That's still wrong. Um, okay, it needs to sit like this. We can go like this and like that. I think that's the correct one. Let's see. Cool, that's perfect. That's how it should sit. So we're gonna install it. Okay, we need to take it out. Make sure that the wire is running nice and comfortable. There we go. And so we see it's still sitting there.
There we go. This troop is very important. It was missing as well. We didn't put it in. And we had a big leak coming from there as well. So make sure that you push it back in again. So guys, this is all that you do to, to get your machine to be fixed when the pump is stuck. Remove all the debris on the on the propeller and then clean it up and then put it back together and the machine should start working. So that only happens if you can hear a humming sound on the machine when it's supposed to take out water. You should know that the pump is stuck. So at least it's something that you can fix at home. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll be posting more if you have any questions. You can post them at the bottom you can write them at the bottom then we can we can have a discussion over them um so yeah have a good one guys enjoy